Hello, thank you for joining me on the Church History Trail and um, we're continuing here in Belfast and where we are actually is we're outside the uh, Church of Ireland, St Bartholomew's Church and it's a fantastic building it really is lovely, I have to say one of the best church buildings I've ever seen um, it's, this church is really like a castle, isn't it? it's absolutely brilliant fantastic and of course this church actually has a fantastic history with its bell because uh, the bell here at St Bartholomew's has actually been ringing for over four generations quite amazing and of course we're here at Stramillis but it's actually been ringing for over four generations so uh, pretty amazing and the bell itself weighs the best part of a ton and it marked the ascension to the throne of uh, Queen Elizabeth I in 1558 so uh, it's got quite a bit of history and unfortunately we won't be able to see the bell because uh, there's no one here today but I can show you the outside of the church and I'll talk a wee bit as we go round and it also rung 30 years later to mark the defeat of the Spanish Armada in 1588. So it's got quite a, quite a piece of history, this church. Or at least the bell anyway. And then in 1690, it rang again to uh, mark King William III's victory after the Battle of the Boyne. And I'm sure you will agree, this, this, uh, this church is absolutely fantastic. And the bell didn't stop ringing there either because it also rang out on various occasions during uh, Lord Nelson's campaign during the uh, Napoleonic Wars and also the bell rung out uh, for the Allied victory in Europe during the World War so fantastic Now the bell was recast in 1695 because uh, sometimes that's what happens with bells and the, the ring goes and but it was melted down and a new bell was moulded but from the same material so they used the exact same material which was fantastic and that was in 1695 Brilliant church isn't it? It would have been great to see the bell itself but not to worry but maybe we get seen it sometime you never know and then in 1952 at the ascension to the throne of Queen Elizabeth II uh, it rang again so this spell has been doing a wee bit of ringing over the uh, over the centuries and as far as I know, I think it's still ringing today. But uh, somebody could maybe enlighten me that's watching the video where this bell is actually still rung today. Was it rung for Charles ascending the throne? I don't know. Charles III, <laughs> the present king. I don't know, maybe somebody knows. They could maybe leave a comment and enlighten me on that because I, I just don't know. That's some windy there, isn't it? Fantastic. And it also rang uh, to mark the late Queen's Jubilee as well. So it's been doing a bit of ringing. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. And of course, I learned something recently, which I didn't know. But these bells ring automatically now. 
you can actually get them where they you don't have to have a bell ringer in the old days you used to have a bell ringer you don't have to have that now because uh they can actually ring automatically now and they'll go off on the hour every hour well not every hour obviously not in the middle of the night hopefully <laughs> Or be a lot of complaints. That's a fantastic doorway there, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. And I was walking by this wee church here earlier, and I googled it to see if I could get any information on it, but I couldn't really get anything. But on the way back, I said, "You know what? That building looks fantastic. I think I'll video it anyway." And so I googled it again, and I ended up getting this. Uh, information there's not a big lot of information not a big lot of sites where you can get information on this church but I, I came across that site and my goodness it was a wee treasure trove um, it was actually uh, an article uh, the BBC ha have done a well according to this article they have done a program on the bell here so I read the article and uh, said to myself my goodness that's fantastic So there you go, that's St. Bar Bartholomew's Church here at Stranmillis in, uh, in Belfast. And so I hope you've enjoyed the channel and just before I go I'm going to give you one more wee look at the church. And so hopefully maybe in the future I'll get to see the bell itself. I've just noticed, I've noticed, I think there are gargoyles or something up there at the top. I'm not too sure what they are. Sometimes you get like dragons or gargoyles sticking out. But there you go. So thanks for joining me and God bless.